Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we've got some really, really amazing news to talk about. There have been some new Elseworlds photos that have been released just literally about 20 minutes ago, if that, and I spotted some amazing images, and we've got to talk about these because there is some massive deep cuts into DC Comics. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So the Elseworlds crossover is coming next week, so tonight is the 100th episode of The Flash. You guys need to get really hyped for that, I'm so excited, beyond excited to see Zoom, Savitar and Reverse Flash all return. Barry and Nora are going to be time travelling, that's outstanding. But also at the same time we have Elseworlds. This is shaping up to be a very mysterious but very jam-packed crossover full of amazing things to look forward to. And so they released some new photos, I picked out the best photos. But the first photo I want to go over, and this is the main thing that I was so intrigued by, is you can see this photo of Nora Freeze. What do you see on the left? You see Bane's mask. Bane. They have confirmed that Bane exists in the Arrowverse. Without there being a mask there, we don't know if this character exists. Same thing for anything. Yes, it may be just an easter egg, but the fact that this mask is most likely somewhere in Gotham, this confirms Bane exists in the Arrowverse. Maybe we'll see him sometime in the future, but this is basically really similar to the Dark Knight Rises mask. This excites me so much. I'm a massive Bane fan. I love all the Dark Knight films from Christopher Nolan. You guys should check out my Dark Knight video and why it's the perfect film and perfect superhero film. That's in the link in the description below. That would mean so much to me if you go and check that out because I'm so passionate about Batman and especially the Dark Knight films. And so seeing Bane's mask is just outstanding to me. Let me know in the comments below, are you really excited? Do you want to see Bane? I would be beyond the moon if we actually got an appearance on the Arrowverse shows from Bane. Yes, I know he's on Gotham, but I don't watch Gotham, so, you know, that doesn't affect me, but yes. So, let's move on to the next photo. So, I'm on a hype streak right now. The next photo is a shot on the street of Barry and Oliver, obviously switched around in their different personas, with Grant playing the Green Arrow and Stephen playing the Flash. And this shot has multiple takes of it. Supergirl lands in, and then later, 90s flash comes in from earth 90 it's been confirmed just the other day and you can see a load of agents with guns it looks like it's possibly argus and they are all pointing at the monitor in this wide street view angle where this photo has been taken from this depicts a standoff a very western like standoff with our heroes facing opposite to him and this is the bit where in the trailer john wesley ship who's playing the 90s Flash, says, you will not do to this world what you did to mine. So either the Monitor has come here or the Earth-90 Flash has come here, that being John Wesley's ship, to warn our heroes of what's to come. So either way, they both end up together once again from that post credit scene after Supergirl. And this is a standoff that they're having. If we move on to the next photo, we have various different shots of Batwoman. We've seen different iterations of these photos and you can see the Arkham Asylum prisoners on the ground they've got arrows in them from Green Arrow so Barry in this case being Oliver is much more ruthless than normal and it seems like he's probably just going for the legs so he's not going to kill anyone but it seems like he's a bit more ruthless than his normal self but he's conscious of what he's doing but Batwoman looks amazing here Ruby totally looks the part it's just whether she can play it I'm really excited to see her as Batwoman Hopefully, I'm fingers crossed hoping she succeeds in this crossover and then we get that Batwoman show if she's very good. So the next photo is of Kara and Clark Kent as they are on Earth 1 after they've been visited on Earth 38 by our heroes and in fact they are in Star Labs and Star Labs is going to be featured on another Earth. We don't know what Earth it is right now but that is the Black Superman suited Earth and that's a different version where we've seen an alternate version of Alex in this crossover, but it's so exciting, the concept of, in our DC TV shows, having Superman in the Flash's Earth, and also being in the Flash's presence, that is just incredible to me. And so, one of my favourite photos that they've released is one of 
Grant and Danielle Panabaker, so obviously Caitlyn and him as Green Arrow. This is obviously a subversion of what we normally see with Danielle maybe as Killer Frost or as her normal self as Caitlyn with normally the Flash but this time as Green Arrow. It's just a nice photo and additionally we get a shot inside Gotham City and you get to see what looks like Barry actually kicking down a criminal I don't know who it is I can't pin it down but it looks like he's got some sort of body armor on they are being surrounded by the GCPD officers and Oliver has got his hands up you can see Kara hidden behind has her hands up and there's someone else can't really make out who it is right now but this is in fact in Gotham so it's just a really nice photo showcasing a bit of what they're gonna do and so we move back to that same photo, that same scene from earlier with the confrontation with the monitor and you get to see the 90s flash from Earth 90 as it's been canonized that most likely the 90s TV show is actually from Earth 90. So that's really awesome, just a nice little easter egg. But he is back and we see him with Grant Gustin's Green Arrow in this crossover so I'm really excited to see this version of The Flash. And so is specifically mirrored from one of the very earliest crossovers with Arrow and The Flash when you get to see Oliver shooting Barry in the back with an arrow and I think they're going to subvert it and this is very similar to the reactions of the other people. You can see Lois Lane here played by Elizabeth Tullock and also Clark Kent and Kara gazing on into the meadows of Smallville and this is most definitely when they're going to do the subversion and in this case it's going to be Grant Gustin shooting Stephen Amell and so we move on to the next photo and the next photo showcases Stephen in what looks like to be episode one so the Flash's episode and he's got the Flash ring on and this is in Barry and Iris's apartment so this is very early on and it's when he realizes oh shit I'm the Flash I have the flash ring, I have all of this equipment, I have all these powers, but I'm actually not Barry, but everyone thinks I'm Barry, and that's the point he's going to realise his reality has changed, because he knows he's supposed to be the Green Arrow, but perhaps he has these new powers, and he's like, huh, I don't know what's going on. And so, essentially, those were most of the photos, so there's some other photos inside Star Labs, with Cisco and they just showcase the characters in the crossover so there's nothing too special about some of those additionally there's some other singular photos of characters like Clark Kent so just shining the light on how big of a character Superman and Clark Kent is going to be in this crossover especially now we've got those posters especially now we've got those posters which feature a lot of new teasers for the crossover so, so after this last photo that I'm going to be breaking down which is a really nice photo that has just been released we're going to be quickly talking about that new poster that was released just yesterday so the last photo that has been uploaded is a different version of what we saw in that behind the scenes photo the other day from Stephen Amell and this is on GCPD and you can see they have cornered off the bat symbol and it seems like maybe the bat symbol is on and this is a scene where you can see Grant, Stephen and Melissa, obviously playing Kara, Barry and Oliver and they are in Gotham and they are trying to get the help of Batwoman most likely because why the hell would they actually be there with the Bat symbol if they're not trying to actually get someone from the Bat family to help. So that is really exciting. Now let's move on to the poster. So the poster for the crossover is really nice and although it is not without flaw it is rather incredible it's a nice homage to the Avengers poster if you look very carefully and, and compare it but from left to right I will explain what's going on so we get a first look at Amazo so Amazo is going to be featured a little bit in the crossover he's going to be one of the villains you can see Stephen Amell as the Flash you can see an older reused version of Cisco as he's got his Vibe suit on and you know Vibe is retired right now and you can see Iris in the background and this awesome new different iteration of Killer Frost with her returning so that's so awesome also you can see above the Wayne Tower and the Bat Symbol and additionally as you go along you see Grant Gustin as the Green Arrow and John Diggle, Felicity, I think Felicity's is reused from one of the old posters, you can see the monitor, a new look at Batwoman 
and as we head towards the right of the screen you can see black suited Superman in this very menacing pose as he looms in the background and Supergirl standing next to Clark Kent as Superman and also Lois Lane holding a hammer very similar to Thor's hammer so this is incredibly awesome there's so much to look forward to so thank you guys so much for watching this video if you did enjoy this video please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year so I will see you guys later goodbye